Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today in response to some of the brothers and sisters who attended the guide to Quran seminar, they have asked about recommendations for books that they can read. And today I would like to recommend some of my favorite uh, books that can be of reference for everyone. Firstly, I would like to bring your attention to a good translation of the Quran into English language. All right. This translation is done by Dr. Taqiyuddin Al-Hilali and Dr. Mohsen Khan and they were professors from the Islamic University of Medina and this particular version of the translation was printed originally in the Quran printing complex in Medina itself so it is also known as the uh, Medina version of the English translation of the Quran. This one is good because it also contains some commentaries from uh, major tafsir books like Tabari and Qurtubi uh, with some commentary with hadith from Sahih Bukhari. If someone would like to lear uh, learn more about tafsir of the verses of the Quran, Tafsir Ibn Kathir is the best read for those who love to learn ev the, the, the interpretation of every single verse in the Quran. Tafsir Ibn Kathir uh, was translated by Darussalam International. Tafsir Ibn Kathir was translated by uh, Darussalam and it was abridged or summarized by a group of scholars under the supervision of uh, Sheikh Mubarak Furi Rahimahullah. And it has 10 volumes as you can see it's a big uh, massive book so for those who want a lighter read i would recommend you to study the tafsir from the last juzu of the quran which is actually uh, juz amma all right and uh, this is also from tafsir ibn kathir rahimahullah uh, however it only focuses on the last uh, chapters of the Quran and most of the chapters are actually memorized by majority of the Muslims such that uh, by reading the tafsir you will be able to relate to the verses when you uh, recite some of the uh, surahs in your daily prayers and actually the, the scholars have actually taught us that if someone wants to uh, master the science of tafsir they should begin with the qisar al-mufassal or also the short chapters from the Juz Amma, starting from Surah Al Duha all the way to Surah Al Nas. For those who want to go deep into the sciences of Tafsir or methodology of Quranic interpretation, you can have uh, the one by Dr. Abu Abinah Bilal Phillips, all right, Usul Tafsir or Principles of Quranic Interpretation, and it is very comprehensive, it, it covers most of the topics that was covered in the seminar uh, with a lot uh, with some examples and quite deep analysis as well as uh, elaboration on the various topics you can also wish to read more on uh, tafsir in this book called an uh, introduction to principles of tafsir you can also read more in this book, Introduction to the Principles of Tafsir. It is done by Sheikh Islam Ibn Taymiyyah and being explained by Sheikh Muhammad Ibn Saleh al Uthaymin Rahimahullah. And in this book, you can see that it's uh, divided into two sections. All right, The one that is above the line are the words of Sheikh Islam and the explanation by Sheikh Al Uthaymin is below the line or in the lower section of the book. If you love to discover the examples that were brought in the Quran or the parables or the paragons of the Quran, then the book Paragons of the Quran by Ibn Qayyim Al Jawziyah is a good read for you. All right, Ibn Qayyim Al Jawziyah is also known as the doctor of the heart and definitely by reading by reading about the parables of the Quran 
you will, you would actually uh, by reading the, this book you will actually learn more about some examples that bring a strong message that you can actually relate in your daily life and finally for those who want to learn more about reasons for revelation of the Quran or Asbabun Nuzul the best book is always by an Imam by Imam An Naisaburi all right as you can see it's actually a very thin book because not many of the verses of the Quran contain a reason for revelation so by learning more on the reasons of revelation you can actually uh, appreciate why the verses were uh, revealed and you would understand the background how the verses were revealed were revealed during the time of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah ta'ala alam